ladies and gentlemen, matters are rising and trending in the country. APC party planning to recruit fake INEC workers to rig Ido state election. PDP raises alarm. Now, brothers and sisters, let me dive straight into the main news proper. As Yegbemi, while addressing journalists in Benin City on Friday, insisted that APC could not be trusted within with the governance of the state following its failure to upload the required number of agents at the Edo State Chairman of People's Democratic Party, PDP, Dr. Tony Azegbu has claimed that all progressive Congress, APC has plans to rig the election by recruiting and employing fake INEC technical personnel to tamper with the bimodal voter accreditation system, BIVAS. Azegbemi, while addressing journalists in Benin City on Friday, insisted that APC could not be trusted with the governance of the state following its failure to upload the required number of agents as the 3,037 polling units in the states. He said, we wish to draw the attention of INEC and Edo Lights to the sinister plan of the APC which has been uncovered by our intelligence units. The APC has perfected a plan to use fake INEC staff posing as technical staff to tamper with the Beavers machine on the day of election to beef up the number of accredited, accredited voters on the Beavers machine. He therefore demanded that INEC publish the names and pictures of all appointed retexts for the election and their posting in good time. APC, knowing that they cannot win the election, have resorted to rigging plans which will terribly fail by the grace of Almighty God. As Bemi added, commenting on INEC's requirement from all participating parties to upload the names and photograph of their polling agents. As Yegbe disclosed that none of the 17 parties was able to meet the requirements 10%, 100%. PM News reports. He, however, disclosed that the APC could only upload 1,482 polling units in one local government area instead of agents in the 3,037 polling units. He therefore said that the APC sh should not be trusted with governance if it could not perform such simple tasks. You will recall that INEC had issued a timetable and schedule of activities in Edo State for governorship election. There are 13 items on that document. I draw your attention to item 9, submission of names of political agents to be uploaded on INEC portal. INEC created a portal for political parties to upload their agents and access code we are giving to the political parties. INEC portal for uploading polling agents opened on the 17th of July and automatically shut down on the 30th of July at midnight. On the 29th of August 2024, INEC invited the national chairman and national secretaries for an emergency meeting in Abuja. To our amazement, the APC did not meet with the requirement in 3037 polling units and in 17 local government areas, which means APC has polling agents in only 1482 polling units and one local government agent. PDP uploaded polling agents in 4374 polling units. A party that cannot upload its polling unit agent in two day in two thirds of the polling unit cannot be trusted with power in our states. We demand that no political party be allowed to correct this anomaly, the PDP chairman said. Adding to the allegation, the APC campaign council media director Prince Kasim Afegbua said the PDP is coming up with this allegation to distract attention. He said the PDP has just told the public what they are planning to do. But the bad news is that we are monitoring them bomba to bomba. There is no escape route for Governor Obaseki and his godson, Asue Igodalo. We have told the world before now that Governor Obaseki brought hackers and cloners to Edo with the aim of ensuring that the beavers are tampered with, while also cloning our candidate's voice. Now, they saw that they saw that is not working. They now want to devise another method. By Monday and Tuesday, they have perfected plans to stage protests across the state, asking that their criminal element should not be arrested. Those who were fingered in the killing of Inspector Ono Ako are running away from investigation. They are afraid of facing the consequences of their action, hiding in Edo State Government House for fear of arrests. We get details of their meeting every day. We expose the voice notes of their so-called Edo Security Network Directive to their armed personnel, telling them to hide their guns. The game is up for them. Tell them to go and face their campaigns, Afik Bua added. This is pertaining what is trending in Edo State concerning the Edo State gubernatorial election. The PDP has come to raise an alarm that the APC is planning to rig the election. So distinguished ladies and gentlemen, if you had patiently watched this video for to this very stage, it simply means 
you have heard everything i have said you have understood everything and you love it i thank you i appreciate you for that please i want you to kindly subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button so that you can get all the updates of our uploads whenever we upload and whenever we are live thank you